Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ngayon po, i-discuss ko po sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng quiz sa pamamagitan ng Google Forms. So, punta po tayo sa kahit anong um, browser na meron po tayo. In my case, I will be using the Google Chrome. Punta po tayo sa google.com. Then, mag-sign in po tayo kung hindi pa po tayo nakakapag-sign in. Since nakapag-sign in na po ako, pupunta po ako sa mga apps ng Google at pupunta po ako sa Google Drive. Pagkapunta po ng Google Drive, ang una ko pong gagawin ay gagawa po ako ng file or gagawa po ako ng Google Forms. Pag pinindot ko po itong Google Forms na ito, syempre po, um, lalagyan ko po ng title. For example po ay summative test, summative test in literature. Then, lalagyan ko na siya ng title. Um, I will be forming a description. For example po, um, this is a test for the first quarter in the subject literature. Then, I will be using the mom, I will be adding their names or we will just have to write their name, their surname, their first name, then their middle initial. Then, it should be required and most likely, if you will be having a lot of sections, I will be having another question. Then you will be having to write there the section. For example, in this case, I will be use I will be using the three kings: Gaspar, Melchor, and Balthazar. Gaspar and Melchor, yeah, and Balthazar. The... Now. I will be requiring it. Now, in this sense, this is just only the first thing or the profile of our students. Um, definitely, in every test, there should be name and section that is affixated to our um, test. I will just add what we call there. I will be adding, not a question, I will be adding a new section. I will add a section, and this section too is right now, we will be title it as our summative test proper. Yeah. I will be adding um, questions. So in this case, since I have already questions, um, I will just import questions from my um, from the first thing that I had. For example, I have here the summative test. Summative test for literature. So here it goes. So I will be clicking or I will be adding this thing. So I will just import everything. So in this sense, so I'll just delete the first section here, which I made. So delete na lang po natin siya. So I will delete this section. So everything will be deleted. I will just rename it as not multiple choice, but rather a uh, summative test proper. And that is the case whenever we import things, we may import natin lahat. So select the option of the correct answer from each item. Now here, um, what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the settings of your Google um, Forms. Then you have to unrestrict it with your Department of Education um, thing because it will be only accessed by your department. So in the settings, you will find our general presentation quizzes. Click the quizzes tab. And then uh, if that is not, um, it's not yet made a quiz, you just have to click this one to make it as a quiz. So make sure that... Um, you're going to, uh, to identify or to select whether you want to release the grade immediately or later after the manual review. So after they answer it, you can choose whether um, the students or the respondents may see the missed questions, the correct answers, and the point values. Most likely, I do not check it because um, it might be screenshot by my students and it will be sent by, um, by them to another student. So I have to ch I have to save it, then I will make it increase. Then I have your first question, and critical reading strategy involves the examination of the reader's personal responses to the text, and what is this strategy? So here, you're going to write there, the, uh, you're going to click the answer key, then you will choose the correct answer. Now, you're the one who should um, assign the value point in each question. Do not forget to um, use this one because if that would be zero automatically, um, there will be no point given to that students if, they is, if their answer is 
correct. So I have here how many questions? I have one, two, three, um, four, five, and six. So if you will be seeing this one, so I have here at the top part of my Google form, you will be seeing the total points, which is six points. So that is how you can identify whether um, this thing or your questions or your um, tests, how many items you had been um, have this answer, sh answer or answer sheets or you put it into their answer key or nilagyan mo siya ng one point o hindi. So, matcha-check mo po, matadouble-check mo po yan. So, this is the thing about our um, making quizzes into our Google Forms. So, you just have to see the responses. There is no responses yet. However, um, after the students will answer the, um, the test, you will be seeing their result or the result of their um, quiz. So, I think um, nagawa natin na, matin, na maayos ang ating Google Form. So, just check it. Tignan nyo kung nag, uh, meron siyang answer key at meron siyang point value. Then afterwards, we're going to send this via email or you just have to send it via link. Then you have to shorten the URL and then send it to the a messenger of our students. So you can have also these settings and then for the quizzes, you will be having this one lock mode on Chromebook. So, respondents aren't allowed to open tabs or other application while taking this quiz. So, this is one of the important things. So, you have to take, turn on lock mode. So, the students will not see Facebook, will not see Google, um, Google, so that they can search their answers to your questions. So, you have to put it into save. So, that's all for this video. So, I hope you enjoy and like this video. So, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share with this video. Goodbye.